Okay, and what is up everybody? It is your boy Fry and today I don't really have like a tutorial. I just wanted to really show you a really nice piece of gear. Let me just adjust this um this for YouTube just so I'm not clipping going out of YouTube. And okay, that looks a bit better. Uh yeah. So pretty much uh, let me just do this as well. You learn something every day there you go soft clip at minus 2.5 so it does not distort you know what i'm saying as you can see now it is brick wall okay so yeah pretty much um i got this cool piece of gear right here as you can see there's my hand my skinny hand whatever whoa and i bumped the tripod and yeah i mean you can check out the little ghetto you know i try to print out the um little sheet for it right fl studio did make one you know basically this thing runs off the i'll tell you what it is basically but uh where should we go okay so basically right in about 2007 right uh, mackie released something called the mackie control universal right which is basically like this mixer can emulate from what i understand um there's three different emulations on this piece of gear right so basically the first one is the mackie control universal right which is a generic thing that basically takes the form of any um, door, which is your your FL Studio, whatever you want to call it. And um, you know, this is it is really cool because basically, you know, if I just click there, I now have a three-band equalizer, right? So if we go and click on, for example, the mono channel, right, which is over there, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of a, a bump right there. But let's just say I wanted to get rid of the bass. You know what I'm saying? I can move it around there, and I can adjust the cue or width, whatever you want to call it. And there you go. And if I don't like the sound of that, I can just bypass, you know, I can just go back to where it was, you know, so you can A, B. And I mean, really, if you're not mixing in FL Studio, you don't really need this, right? Because you always get those people who say, oh, this is a really big mouse, you know, which really it is. But, you know, I could who doesn't want, you know, record right there? You know, the one thing that I always um, would get really angry about in FL is um, when I want to record people. So let's just say we got the mic input channel right there. We'll select it. And uh, we'll just go back to track. And then, I mean, look at that. You know, I can record enable all of these channels with the touch of a button. Um, you know, you got your pan, which obviously you don't want to pan. Um, so bike input, but you know what I mean? There's just so much you can do with this. I mean, you can mute, you can mute tracks, you know, you can solo, solo tracks. I mean, it's insane. You know, it's just like the possibilities are endless. You have, um, let's just go back to, for example, our mono channel. Um, which has a few plugins on it, right? So we can, so as you can see, you know, the plugins that are popping up, as you can see, like, for example, we got the compressor on, on insert five, we can kind of move it and then it moves along with FL, which is crazy. And then you can bypass the plugin by pressing this, or you could use the wet and dry knob with, with that, you know what I'm saying? And if you look at the blue screen over there, you know, it's always telling you what's going on. So you really don't need to look at the screen that much once you have the hang of this, right? I've been using this for about a week. And I mean, I'm just so happy with like, you know, I, I need to find another one because the price I got this for is it was insanely cheap, right? I mean, I'll just pop up on the screen right now. Right now, at the moment, you can buy a uh, PreSonus fader port, I think, which is also similar to this because Mackie were the originators from what I understand to make this kind of concept or DigiDesign, I don't know which came first, maybe DigiDesign. Um, you know, you got the, I used to work in the studio and they used to use one. Um, the Digi O2, which is very similar, except the Digi O2 comes with preamps. This does not have preamps. Uh, this is just fully a uh, controller. Um, but I mean, Behringer have one out right now as well, which is like at least $500, right? And it's like, it's not metal. This is full on metal. The display is fucking amazing. I'm sorry for swearing. That's probably the only swear word I'll get to do. Demonetization gang. <laughs> Monetization gang. <laughs> and um, yeah, now I forget what I was saying. But yeah, I mean, you know, back in 06, 07, you know, people were still developing things this rugged and heavy, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think this this did cost a pretty penny back in the day, but, you know, I got it for at least $200, you know what I'm saying? There was somebody who was using Pro Tools and I think he was retiring, so he wanted to sell it. And, you know, I, I got my friend's dad to pick it up for me because, you know, I couldn't just go over to the area and pick it up. So, I mean, I really had to kind of hustle to get this thing and I'm really impressed. So if you can find one on eBay, buy it. You know what I'm saying? Because this is honestly the best buy you'll get. You know what I'm saying? If we go over to the range area, um, which now I've, I've started to use the, um, the, whoa, let's not do that. You know, the shortcuts, which I never used before. But I mean, if we go there and we kind of 
you know, we can zoom in and out with the scrub wheel. If we don't want to zoom in and out, right, we can just turn that off and then we can kind of figure out our spaces. I mean, how cool is that, right? All from the touch of a button. From there on out, we can press record, press play, and we're recording, you know what I'm saying? You can turn the metronome on, you can turn the pre-roll counter on, on and off. I mean, there's all sorts of cool presets. I mean, as you can see, I've, I've cut them for now. I will try and get a custom fit put on here, but uh, for now it works, right? I'm not too fancy, you feel me? I'm just all about the mix. And I mean, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff I haven't figured out, you know, which, um, I mean, there you go. Like, I was just thinking about that. Like, okay, cool. Window, I don't know what that does, but that that's pretty cool that you can make that pop up, make it disappear. And um, I mean, you can save from right here. I just throw another little glitch. Menu, I don't know what that does, but um, mixer. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, you know, all sorts of cool things you can do. Um, I'll basically just show you a bit of basic mixing, right? I got this little song that I, I do test out the templates I make. So, you know, once in a while, this thing comes through and we, we, we do a bit of freestyles and all that stuff. So um, I'll just play it for you quickly and then I'll just kind of mess around and just show you a kind of hands-on experience with, um, you know, this console. So yeah. Like the way you do it, walk my way. Think I'll go crazy if you ever go away Not like these a cliche But really I'm just trying to see you in your lingerie This week shut me down with the Uzi Sometimes I wonder if you're scared to lose me Lose me, I just hope you choose me Get rid of the boxiness me. Let me in your heart like can I have the key I could make you dinner, don't be mad no, I did you wrong and you said Ah, the mic is falling When you hit me Ugh. back, I was I can't so reach it. Okay Let me in your world like a man Bad bitch, shoot me with the Uzi Bad bitch, yeah, start again Like the way you do it, walk my way So wrong Think I go crazy if you ever go away Not like these other dudes, I ain't cliche But really, I'm just trying to see you You know what I mean? That's so hands-on, you know what I'm saying? This chick shot me down with the Uzi Turn it up a bit. Sometimes I wonder if you scared to lose me. Oh, lose wrong channel. Me, I just hope you choose me. Forgive me, it is hard to mix with this heart, tripod in the way. Channel 5. Make you dinner, don't be mad. No, I did you wrong and you said. There we go. You know what I'm saying? It's when it's a good feeling. Back, you know what I'm saying? So glad. Let me in your world like a map. Bad bitch, show me what the Uzi. Bad bitch, show me what the Uzi. Bad bitch, show me what I mean, it's it's just insane, you know what I mean? I'm really, like, this turns FL Studio into a proper mixing console from, you know, um, my perspective. It, it makes it, you know, as good as Pro Tools and whatever, whatever, which it is. I mean, besides the subtle difference in sound, I have realized that Pro Tools does have a bit of a different sound. Um, I mean, obviously not, like, by much. It's all to do with the plugins and the way the, um, the busing works and all of that. But, um, yeah. I mean, if you do want to purchase one, you will need one of these. Sorry that I just um, noted this. Now, I did get this a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't have this, so I wasn't able. As you can see, it every time I press something, it's transporting messages, right? So if you have an audio interface with a um, MIDI in and out port, because this is running via MIDI, um, and my audio interface doesn't have a MIDI port, so how this runs is it runs um, MIDI into USB, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much how you do that. And yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about. I mean, I like I really hold this in the best regard. This is the best thing that I've ever bought. I did own, I do own, sorry, one of these, which I'll just get on here for a second, which is pretty damn heavy. But this is a Behringer BCR, right? So this is the rotary control. And right now at the moment, I'm using it to kind of set up like, for example, an SSL plugin. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a plugin right now, so I can't do it. But, um, you know, you can use this to set up, for example, the EQ channels, and then you can do your EQing without actually touching the screen, which is a bit useless. That's why I kind of decided to get this instead. Um, but yeah, basically Behringer also has the BCF, which is also motorized faders, right? You see, the problem with this is FL Studio doesn't remember where the, the, the rotary knob was, but like if I close a session and open up a session, like it knows, you know what I'm saying? Like, as you can see, it's all motorized, it's doing its thing, it knows what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And these work like magic, I mean, you know, you just really got to take good care of one of these consoles. I'm really scared it breaks. Um, I cover this thing with plastic every night just to make sure the dust um, does not eat it. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't really have too much else to say on, on my mind right now about this thing. Um, I just thought I'd do this video, it's been kind of uh, 
you know, while getting used to this thing, I'm like, wow, I actually really enjoy mixing in FL now. You know what I'm saying? Like I can literally just turn the screens off and mix, you know what I'm saying? Besides the fact of um, that I only have EQ to adjust, you know, uh, if they had a compressor here, uh, in, in here as well, that would be pretty sick. But um, it's what it is. And yeah, it's your boy Fry, the big mouse. And um, yeah, have a good one. Peace out.